Right, like the, the pressure of being a champion and all that entails. There's always pressure, bro. There's always pressure. I make sure like this on you. There's always pressure on me. But, um, yeah, I still don't, I, I mean, I don't feel that all the pressure is off my shoulders or anything. There's more pressure on me now, you know, because I'm me. I'm not him, I'm me. So, uh, yeah, there's always going to be that. But again, like I said, since my debut, pressure makes diamonds. And I'm going to shine. What do you take out of the last fight, right? Because it was a great performance from you, except for one moment, and that's what changes the results. So how do you break down a fight like that, you know, knowing that there were good things, but you still didn't get what you wanted? Um, how do I break down a fight like that? I know what works for me. I know um, how I can beat this guy. I know every time I fight this guy, I'm dominating him. I'm beating him. And then he has this special ability to recover and put his foot on the gas. So I have to find a way to take take him out of the driver's seat, which I will. We think of you as a very mentally strong person, right? But this yes. guy is following you in your career. I mean, does this guy bother you? Is, is he annoying to you or, you know? It's not, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't annoy me. Um, I focus on me, I don't focus on anyone else. Um, you know, when it's time to fight, I focus on who's in front of me. Uh, most times, I'm always picking around the corner. I mean, you guys know I set up my next fight sometimes on the, on the, you know, on the slide, but this time, I have no idea what's next. I haven't even looked around the corner. I just have my targets, my sights right on this guy, dead between the eyes. Last thing for me, you just said you don't know what's next, but I think a lot of people are asking to beat him. Do you got to beat him again? Do you want to beat him twice in a row? Mm, I treat the same thing. I don't know what's next. I focus straight on this fight. Everything on this fight. I put everything. Anything that doesn't help with this fight, the last four months or whatever it's been, I've cut it out. I've removed it. I've, yeah, everything has been focused strictly on this fight. Is really right here. Um, on your vlog, you had said that um, you feel better. You felt like better than you normally do at certain parts of this week. You were ready to go like maybe Monday, Tuesday, whatever. You still had all this week. So, what did you attribute that to? Like, you just felt better than you did normally so early? Mm, preparation. Preparation. Important my body's already message. dropping. My body's already dropping Your weight. Computer. My body's already uh, dropping weight. Like, like an excited dog outside the dog park in the car, so I have to kind of tell him to chill, stay, heal, we'll release soon, and soon I'll be unleashed. In Perth, when you were the guest fighter backstage, I asked like, every, every, like your past few fighter weeks, you had this theme that you said that you were, obviously you, you had the jigsaw theme, the energy theme, you said you'll know closer to the fight what your theme of this week would be. Have you thought of anything like that? Theme. Has been locked up. Uh, legit. Your IP address was. Sorry, it's just distracting. Um, uh, honestly, I'm the hunter now. I've just been hunting, like in every sense of the word, and I make I'll make sure like when it's time to fight, I'll hunt him down. Like I said, my target's straight on him, nothing else. Anything else, not even him after this, I don't care. I'm focused on right now. You also shared a video of that promo package of The Rock and Stone Cold on Twitter. Are you feeling if you and Alex is like that type of rivalry? No, not really. I just, um, me and my boys were just talking. We've been watching a lot of WWE stuff at the house. And I was like, oh, yeah, that was that um, My Way highlight, one of the greatest highlights ever. And then I saw that bit, and I remember, like, what The Rock said. You know, the way they say it's a stone cold, everything I'm gonna put in. I felt that. So that's why I shared that. And also, it's fucking dope track, dope highlights. So, yeah, it was WrestleMania weekend. So, it was a nice little homage to the merger. Well, I, was gonna gonna ask, I was gonna ask about that. What do you think of it uh, for buying the majority of the state of the WWE now that it's kind of a package with the UFC right now? I like it. <laughs> Going back to that rock, stone cold. Trailer. Do you view yourself and Alex as that sort of rivalry? Is this that rivalry in your career that you've sort of been waiting for? Your nemesis, this guy that you go back and forth with over and over? I've had a couple, but none like this. This is probably the greatest storyline in MMA history. And. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. Um, yeah, um, it's 
probably one of, if not the greatest storyline in MMA history. And not many people get the opportunity to show how great they are, to rise to the occasion when all the odds are stacked against them, when people are counting them out. And for me, this fight, I feel like the underdog. I feel like everyone was counting me out. I feel like, you know, because of the results of the last fight, we were just like goldfish memories. They forgot what I've done in this game. They forgot who I am. And it's time to remind people how great I am. Tell us, in your mind, why this is the greatest rivalry in the world. It's, it's, it's Spanish. <laughs> it's, um, 